And we'll quote, intrigued and impressed with the former Heisman Trophy winner. Jackson is projected by many to be a first round pick and the Patriots have the 23rd and 31st, 31st picks in the first round. Chan, do you believe the Patriots will draft Lamar? I do believe it. Um, if he's there when they select at 23, do I believe they'll trade up to get him? Nah. And this is very, normally they believe in quantity over quality. So what they'll do, Skip, they'll trade back to get more picks as opposed to giving up their picks to move up because we know what it's going to cost you. We saw what Deshaun Watson brought. We saw what Patrick Mahomes brought. Mm -hmm. So if they're going to uh, brought, so if they're going to move up, it's going to probably cost them their, their two first round picks. Mm -hmm. That doesn't strike me as Coach Belichick because not only he lost Cooks, uh, uh, Brandon Cooks, mm -hmm. so you will probably need to replace him at some point. I believe Mr. Kraft and Coach Belichick, they both they're on the same page on this one. We got to take a quarterback. Now, will they take one in the first round? I believe if he's sitting there at 23, I do believe it. But someone might move up and snatch him before he gets there. Mm -hmm. That wouldn't be pretty. That wouldn't be too bad because I know a Hall of Fame general manager said he needed to move to wide receiver. Mm -hmm. The man might be a first round quarterback and almost moved to wide receiver. That is true. He'd have been a, mm -hmm. he'd have been a fool to do mm -hmm. that. But anyway, that's not here no death skip. Yep. This, I can't. You know the mo of the Patriots. Skip, I guess I'm going to have to get away from the M.O. because the M.O. of the Patriots is they don't let information get out. We've seen over the last six months a lot of information get out. We've seen more information get out in six months that's gotten out in 17 years. So I can no longer say this is not the M.O. because their M.O. is mm -hmm. <laughs> a united front. They were united. They were Mr. Coach yep, Belichick, I agree. Mr. Kraft, Tom Brady. They arm in arm. Yeah, yep. got their Patriots hats on and everything like the 1776, Joy. Now, all of a sudden, they, mm -hmm. he liking tweets that's taking shots at Coach Belichick, and Coach Belichick is, I'm over here. I'm, I, I'll see y'all later. I'm mm -hmm. going on vacation. Don't talk to me. Yeah, I'm not going to play Malcolm Butler in the yeah. Super Bowl and see how you like it. As a matter of fact, I'm yeah. going to the Timberwolves game on the Thursday before mm -hmm. the Super Bowl. You how y'all like that? How you like that? So, Skip, yes. Do I see? Could I see them taking him with the 23rd pick? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do I believe they will trade both of those picks to move up, possibly what it's going to take to get him? I do not. But could they take him? Yes, I believe they would take him if he's there at 23. Although I don't believe he'll be there. I don't either. Which is why I can't believe at this time of year that this isn't just a smoke screen coming out of New England. Yeah. Just, just to distract other teams or try to convince other teams to take Lamar higher so it would push somebody down to the Patriots. They got somebody in mind. It doesn't feel right mm -hmm. to me because they just don't have that kind of leak. And you make a good point. Maybe this is a new day. <laughs> Maybe Rome is teetering right. here. Maybe somebody wants something out to get somebody else. Maybe we're back to Brady versus Belichick. Mm -hmm. Maybe... Somebody, Bill Belichick, wants to get the word out that I'm going to try to get Lamar Jackson, especially if he falls 23, I'm going to take Lamar Jackson just to send a message to prepare Tom Brady that this is coming. Like, I'm, I'm going to do this. Okay, now let's get down to the real issue at hand. I look at this as if Tom Brady is right about I want to play for three more years and I believe that's what he wants to do, even though Coach Belichick clearly does not want that. And nope. now I'm starting to wonder if Mr. Kraft wants that or not, which side he's on at this point. But right now, the New England Patriots have the ideal situation if, in fact, Tom Brady can go forward. And I remind everybody, at age 40, he just won the MVP of the league and Correct. threw for 505 yards, a record in the Super Bowl. So let's let's do the playoff record. Hypothetical. What's that? That's a playoff record. That's a Super playoff. Bowl playoff. Yeah, everything. Anything that happened in okay, the postseason, so he got. He it. did pretty well last yes. year. And at 41, now his agent said yesterday he does want to play at 41. We all he wants to play past much. the length of that contract, yeah, which you is got more, this okay. year plus next. Brian Hoyer could not be a more perfect quarterback for Tom Brady right now because Brian Hoyer got. Well, he didn't get drafted. He, he was undrafted, actually, but right. he signed with the Patriots as a rookie. Correct. He learned under Brady. They're friends. He's no threat to Tom Brady, None, obviously. Zero. Yet, he started 37 games in this league. And I remind everybody, Brian Hoyer managed to go 10-6 and six as a starter for the Cleveland Browns. 10-6? Mm -hmm. and six? That's pretty great, right? right? Mm -hmm. So he is about as quality, and he, by the way, he started games for five other different teams and started one playoff game. He's got experience. Right. Could you right. pick a better backup no. quarterback for Tom Brady than Brian Hoyer? No. So they're set there. 
Now it depends on, okay, what's how far down the road are you looking? Right. Looking three years or are you just looking one year? Right. I don't know. I think Coach Belichick is back in the one-year mode, and he would like to replace Tom Brady after one more year. Like it, the, the cycle would start over. Right. So if he got Lamar Jackson at 23, two things. Would, would Lamar, could he get him ready to be the quarterback of the future one year from now? I don't know. That's going to ask a lot. That's going to ask a lot. And, by the way, if he does, with the 23rd overall, take a quarterback, his current starting quarterback is not going to be happy. No, anytime you, draft, anytime yeah. you have a quarterback on your roster yeah. and you take a quarterback number one, yeah. they didn't draft him just to sit on the sideline no, and hold the clipboard. But, but furthermore, this team needs some help, you know? He needs some other players. Well, hold on. Mr. Kraft said it. Yeah. Mr. Kraft said he thought it'd be wise if they were to draft a quarterback. Okay, so, that's fine. But what I'm saying, from Tom Brady's point oh, of view, yeah, no, no, he, he, he wants you to take somebody at 23 who's going to help the defense right, or give me a right, receiver. Right. Or no, what, no, no, he, I don't know. He, give me a tackle. He don't, want, he don't want you drafting his replacement. He does not because he would look at it as a wasted pick because he's thinking, ain't going well, I'm not going anywhere no. anyway, right? Right. Okay, now let's get down to the guts of this. I would not wish upon any human – having to replace Tom Brady. That's hard, man. No. You want to replace the guy that replaced Tom Brady. <laughs> okay. uh, dare I bring this up? Given the racial history of Boston and that area, yeah. would you want a black quarterback to try to replace Tom Brady? Would you, want, would you wish that upon that young man? Nope. I don't think I would either. I just wouldn't wish it upon him. It's just hard. It is. And I'm not saying it's a racist area but it has a racist history, history. and sort of underbelly yeah. if you will it does. is that fair yeah very uh -huh. fair okay so i'm just not sure that's the right guy so let's look back at the former greatest quarterback ever joe montana how did he get replaced in san francisco well they acquired a steve young who by the way had started two years for the la express in the usfl and he had started two years for tampa bay in the nfl before he came to be joe's backup and then he sat a long time. Four years he sat. Okay, so he doesn't start. He's not a full-time starter until he's 31 years of age. Okay, well, you've, you've sort of been around. You, you're ready to do yeah. this. And I remind everybody, he was the MVP that first year. He started in 92. And what happened in the NFC Championship game? Those young upstart Cowboys came into yeah. Candlestick and beat him. Yeah. And trust me. I was there. They did not like it. Those fans did not like it. And the next year, Steve Young and company went to Dallas, and they lost in the NFC Championship game. And Steve was not popular. No. Not popular. And then I got to say, if Jerry hadn't fired Jimmy after that 93 season. It might have been three in a row. Yeah. I'm just not sure Steve Young would, would have won a Super Bowl. I'm sure. So, so that's what it took for Steve Young to replace Joe Montana. And would you throw Lamar Jackson into this fire? Man. And, and they really had no choice, Skip. How could you go back? And, 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 given what Joe had accomplished. Yeah. Steve Young won the MVP that year. How do you go back to a Joe, even though he had won four Super Bowls for you, yep. when he, you know, the injury history, and he was clearly not himself, mm -mm. even though he went to uh, Kansas City and played well. Because he got hurt in that by, against the Giants in the right. NFC Championship game right. and missed much of the next year. Correct. Missed the whole year, I think. And that, so that's that's what kind of yeah. gave Steve the opportunity. It did. That that was the start of it, Skip. That's why these starters don't want to give these backups any reps. Yeah. Brett Favre does not want – Peyton Manning would – Peyton Manning take a kneel down. Mm -hmm. They are – 25 points and Peyton Manning taking Neil down. I do not want you to get one look on tape mm -hmm. of what this guy could possibly do. Tom Brady, all these quarterbacks, Drew Brees, they're not coming out because as Drew Bledsoe, what will happen when you, uh, uh, you miss a game or two? That is true. Well, you brought up Brett Favre. Aaron Rodgers sat for three years. Yes. Three years. And then Brett became persona non gratis there because he was retiring, unretiring, and then he, he chose to, to leave – and go elsewhere. Right. And he said, they asked him, he said, well, I'm going to retire. Yeah. And then he wanted to unretire. They're like, no, we're going to ride with Aaron. Yeah. But I'm not so sure, Skip, if he said, I'm coming back. Aaron Rod I don't believe Aaron Rodgers would start it that year. Yep. Had Brett Favre not retired and then tried to unretire yep. and, you know, come back and uh, have a hostile takeover and take over his starting back. That's and true. they're like, no, nah, uh, no, no, we, we're yep. not going to have this. You done retired and unretired one too many times. Yep. We're done. And I do give Aaron Rodgers high credit for stepping in that first year. He didn't have a great year, but it's it's hard, man. That Brett's still pretty legendary. Yeah.
you all, you don't want to follow directly behind no, the guy. Do not. Because think about it. The guy played, what, what did he play, 17 years there, Skip? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He played 17 years, I think 17 years in one location. Yeah. Won a bunch of games for him. He really brought them back. He and Reggie White, my, my brother was there, got there before Brett. But that's when they started winning, getting back to, what do they call it, Wintersville? What do they call it? What do they call that? Title Town. Title Town, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what really got them back on the map because Green Bay, nobody mm -hmm. wanted to go to Green Bay. Still. Nobody wanted to go. Nobody. Your brother <laughs> might not want to go. He just got drafted, yeah, He was right? never picking the draft, so yeah. he didn't really have a choice. Yeah, I wish he'd stayed healthy enough to enjoy the fruits of this, right? No, they, they, they might try to beat us in the Super Bowl, Skip. Oh, okay. Maybe. I, I, I ain't want to have to beat my brother in the Super Bowl. I, mean, I forgot about that. Yeah. You got a huge break. Yeah, I, I ain't want to have to do it. I'd have had to, I'd have, I'd have to show up. I'd have yeah. to put a Russell Westbrook on it. Oh, yeah. I'm going to shut this bleep down. Would you? I went on defense. Your brother? I would shut it down. Oh, well, like I I your brother would have something to say about that. Yeah, you'd have a lot. Yeah, plus uh, <laughs> Russell and Thunder took the L last night. Yeah, they it might not be the best analogy. Yeah, so, yeah. bottom line to Lamar Jackson, this is just me. I hope he doesn't go to New England. I just hope he goes somewhere where it's just right on path for him to take over and start because I think he can play. They're gonna blow. They're gonna blow up our mention, Skip. Tell me how you gonna say Boston. I'm not saying, but you just have a lot of racial things that happen. Yeah. In the city. What? I'm not that's, saying yeah, that's, that's not a secret. Yeah, that's not a secret. But they try to hide it. No. Oh, we're not like that. Well, well somebody from Boston mm -hmm. that goes to these games, it's be like throwing that. bananas and making all these sounds and calling people out of their name. That now somebody's right. doing that. I know they and, can't and all be from out of town. There's a history there. Yeah. Of that. Well, read uh, Russell's book. No, well, that's. Now I don't think no out of town has broken that main house and did what they did and wrote what they wrote on that wall. Now it could have happened, mm -hmm. but normally burglars don't come from out of town. Joe. Normally not. <laughs> Nazulio Jones won out of Atlanta. We'll discuss that next.